Now our goal in this video is to select a simple random sample. This is a common statistical technique where we have a population and we want to extract just some of the numbers and then make some statistical calculation. Now when we do this, to be fair, we need to use a uniform distribution. That means each item has the same chance of being selected. And luckily, in Excel, the RAND and RAND array function both use uniform distributions. Now, in the last video, Excel Magic Trick 1823, we saw a formula for randomly sorting and looking up. And Bart, below the video, gave us an awesome formula. And his formula took some range and randomly sorted it. Well, with just a little adjustment, we can get not the entire column, but just three of the items pulled randomly using this amazing formula. We're going to use sort by. Here's the range we want to sort. And in by array, we're going to use rand array. And both rand and rand array deliver numbers randomly between 0 and 1. And for the time being, we just want to take 7. Close, close. This will create a series of random numbers, just like over here. And sort by will sort these based on a sorted list of random numbers. So when I enter this, well, I wasn't thinking. I have a spill error, so I'm going to move all of this down. Now, that's all seven, F2, but we don't want all seven. We want the top three. Now, there's another great Microsoft 365 Excel function called take. There's the array, and we want to take comma. How many rows from the top? Three. Now, take, if we put a positive number, it takes from the top. If we put a negative number, it takes from the bottom. But that's our amazing formula. And that formula is so much easier than how we used to have to do it before Microsoft 365 Excel. Now, RAND and RAND array, every time you hit F9, it recalculates. Also, both the functions actually recalculate any time you do something. So if I hit Enter, it recalculates. But once you get these, you copy and paste them where you want. Now, let's look at the old school method. Now, for the old school way, we add a column using the RAND function. Then we use small. And for the array, I want to highlight all the random numbers. Now I'm going to go one too far, F4, backspace, and change it to 3, because I don't want to use table formula nomenclature, comma. And for the K, I need a 1 in this row, 2 in this row, 3 in this row, and so on. So I use the number incrementer rows. I'm in F7. F is not locked, dollar sign 7. That row is locked, colon, F7. That's an expandable range that will give us rows 1, 2, 3, and so on. So when I copy it down, and I'm going to copy it, I'm never going to get a sample size greater than 5. There's the first smallest, second smallest, and so on. Now I want the relative position of those small random numbers. So we'll use match. There's the lookup value for each row, comma, and I'm going to cheat and steal this. Click Control-C, because I need the same range right there. Comma, the match type is exact match 0. Control-Enter, double click and send it down. So those are the relative positions. Second record is going to go right here, third record here, and so on. F2, now we put this into index, another lookup function. I'm looking up sales rep. And I want table formula nomenclature, because when you copy it to the side, it's as if it's a mixed cell reference, so it'll move to sales. Comma, there's the row number or relative position. Control Enter, copy it to the side, copy it down. And there's a random sample if we hit the F9 key. The final formula element is going to be to turn it off after we get past row 3. if. Come back over to small, click K, Control C. We need a number incrementer in logical test. And now I'm going to say, hey, incrementer, when are you greater than the sample size? That means when it gets to row 4, comma, the value if true is going to be show blank, double quote, double quote. Otherwise, comma, there's our lookup formula. Close at the end, Control Enter. Copy it to the side, Control-Z, F2. I forgot to lock this, so I'm going to hit the F4 key, Control-Enter.
Copy it to the side. Double click and send it down. Look in the last cell here, F2. All right, all the ranges are pointing in the right place. Now when I change the sample size to 4 to 5, we are randomly generating a sample based on a uniform distribution two different ways. Now, of course, we would probably do something like the average, the standard deviation, and those other types of statistics. Now, if we actually have this here, we would probably use this formula because it is self-contained and doesn't need that column. But if we did, we could actually use x match instead of match, and then small together. I'm looking up rand numbers, comma, and for the k, we need a sequence of number. Once we have multiple numbers, then that forces small and x match to spill. We want 5. That will give us 1 to 5. Close on sequence. Close on small. Those are all the lookup values, comma. Here are the values to retrieve. Exact match is the default, so we close on X match, Control Enter. Now we can put that inside of index. And we're trying to look up both columns, getting the records, comma. And since we have a two-way array inside of index, we need row number. But we also need comma, column number. And since we only have two and we want both, we hard code this into an array constant. The first column, comma, in array syntax, comma means go over a column. Semicolon, of course, is row. So two, close, curly bracket, close on index, control, enter. Now we do our average, and we can F9, and look at that, we got exactly the same sample. F9, F9. We are generating random samples of size 5 from a population of size 7. All right, thanks to Bart for this cool new formula. Here's an old school one. I also put a VLOOKUP old school one here. And if you have that column, you can go with index and X match. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.